There you go, look, I've, I've taken the lid off, which means I risk mucking this up, but the tops of the eggs are starting to cook as well now. You see that, there's a nice firm bit on the top of the yolk. Lid back on. This is fantastically exciting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna manage it a bit by taking the lid off. What you can do, but be very careful doing this, is you can use your knife to go into the white bit of the egg and see what it looks like, but be very careful you don't punch in the yellow bit. Yeah, it's starting to go. That's nice. I'm going to leave the lid off for a bit because I don't want to overcook the top of the egg. But remember, I do want them to be starting to go firm around the edge. Otherwise, Richard Hammond will have a massive paddy, or would if he were here. He's actually up a tree in the jungle somewhere, I think, which is the best place for him, to be honest. Um, mm. Yeah, the whites are still a bit bogey-ish. Okay, I'm putting the lid back on. There is the lid back on, and we're going to need about another one and a half minutes on that toast, I think, as a rough guess. I do like it to be a little bit burnt. Uh, there's a plate in the oven already. Have I already said that? I don't know. There's, well, there's a plate in the oven warming up, of course. Uh, toast down. I'm quite nervous now. I don't know if I've done this right. Toast on. That's good, I'm going to leave the lid off, heat right down, toast is looking good, butter is ready, let's have the plate out of the oven, using the Royal Navy tea towel, blah blah blah, yum yum yum, that'll do, slightly burnt toast, keeping it upright for the moment, I prepare my butter. So I mean, this is so simple really, I don't know why I'm bothering to explain it to you, but as I said, it is difficult to get it really, really right. I like plenty of butter on the toast, because the butter works well with the egg, I think. It's very flavoursome. Mm, 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 mm. My butter's still a little bit hard, I should have left it out of the fridge longer, but never mind. Right, here we go. Power off on the poach, on the poacher. Careful you don't drip water on your toast as you do this, because that really ruins everything. You can run your, your knife around the edge. Yeah, that's nice because the butter in there has stopped it sticking. Look at that. That is a poached egg on a piece of toast. Hang on. Number two, is it free? Yes it is, no it isn't, yes it is, out it comes. I think these are going to be slightly on the runny side, so take cover from Richard Hammond. Now let's see if we can reset the tripod a bit. Note that I do have a tripod now, how exciting is that? Um, this will be what we call out of vision in the world of television. There you go, there are the poachies out on the toast. As I said, looking at the breast from Botticelli's Venus, it is true that this is a rather insipid looking meal. A lot of people criticise it for that. And what you should do, I suppose, is put a little sprig of uh, parsley or something on each egg just to give it that green colour, which contrasts nicely. I don't have any parsley in here. You won't be surprised to learn. Um, I'll tell you what, look, if we put the pan scrubber there for a moment, you can see what I mean. Green just livens it up a bit. You can't actually eat that. Anyway, let's see if Richard Hammond is going to be satisfied Cut the corner off the toast. The suspense is incredible here, isn't it? I stick my fork. I think I might have done it. Yes, look, just going firm at the edge. Still runny in the middle. Oh, I haven't put any black. What an idiot. Token squirt of black pepper. Good. Here we go. Mmm! Mmm! Mmm!
everyone in the orphanage is safe. How about that?